Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's problem I got from one of my subscribers and this problem about additive trait. So here is the problem. Seed weight in particular plant species is determined by pairs of alleles at two loci and here is the allele A plus, A minus, B plus and B minus that are additive and equal in their effects. Plants with genotype which is as follows have seeds that average 1.6 gram in weight whereas plants with genotype as follows have the seeds that average 4 grams in weight. A plant with a genotype as follows is crossed with a plant with genotype as follows and here are the two questions. What is the predicted weight of seeds from F1 progeny of this cross? First of all, I want to simplify notation. I don't like this notation A plus, A minus and instead I'm going to use A capital and A small, B capital and B small. First of all, let's do the first cross. We are told that we have to cross these parents with following genotypes. So we have to cross one parent that is homozygous dominant for all four alleles for two genes with another parent who is going to be homozygous recessive for four alleles. We know that phenotype of this parent is four grams, so four grams. That means that each dominant allele at one gram, so one plus one plus one is going to be four grams. And we also know that uh, phenotype of this parent is 1.6 grams the weight of the seeds. That means that each recessive allele adds 0 0.4 grams. So 0 0.4 this allele, 0 0.4 this allele, 0 0.4 this allele and 0 0.4 this allele. If we add them we are going to get 1.6 or we can get this number if we divide this number by and this is how each recessive allele adds to the trait. And here we just divide 4 by 4 alleles and this is how much each dominant allele adds to the trait. And here is probably the part where everyone would be confused because we are told that, let's read again, seed weight in particular plant species is determined by pairs of alleles at two loci that is additive and equal, so I want to underline equal in the effects. But we see that each recessive allele adds 0 0.4 and each dominant allele adds 1. So it's not equal. But again let's read the problem. Seed weight in particular plant species is determined by pairs of alleles at two loci that are additive and equal in their effects. So when we consider how much each allele add to the trait, we considering not the individual allele but allelic pair or locus. For example, locus A can give maximum to the trait which is going to be 2 grams but locus B also can give maximum to the trait which is also going to be 2 grams. Locus A also can be at the minimal uh, variant can give 0 0.8 grams to the trait but minimum uh, for locus B is also going to be 0 0.4. So this loci are equal in their influence on the trait. But if we take individual allele B dominant and allele B recessive, the effect on the trait is not going to be the same. So 1 gram here and 0 0.4 grams here. So it was parental generation. Now we are going to cross them and get F1 generation. And F1 generation is going to be of the following genotype. So this is parental generation. This is parent 1, parent 2. And here is going to be F1 generation. From parent 1, F1 generation can get for the locus A only dominant allele A. And from the parent 2, for the locus A only can get recessive allele A. 
and for the locus B from parent 1 only can get dominant real B and from the parent 2 for the locus B only can get recessive allele B. So all plants in the F1 generation are going to be of this genotype. And we are told that we have to cross uh, parents from the F1 generation. So we have to self them. And that means that we have to cross this genotype with this genotype or we have to self pollinate them. Sorry, I jumped to the second question. Let's uh, give an answer to the first question. What is the predicted weight of seeds from F1 progeny of this cross? Dominant allele give 1 and recessive allele gives 0 0.4. Dominant allele give 1 and recessive allele gives 0 0.4. So the weight of the seeds in this uh, F1 generation is going to be 2.8 grams. As you see, genotype is going to be intermediate between these parents and this number is also going to be intermediate between these two numbers. So we have here classical dehybrid cross and here is a table of the dehybrid cross. And here on top, let's say this is going to be gametes of the parent 1 and here on the side is going to be gametes of the parent 2 gametes are haploid. So here we have diploid organism, two alleles for each locus, but here in the gametes we only see only one allele per each allelic pair. So for example, this is can be a pollen, which is going to be haploid. Parent one can produce following uh, genotypes of the gametes. For example, this dominant allele and this dominant allele. So this genotype here, of the gamete and also, for example, this dominant allele A and this recessive allele B. So this type of gametes and another variant we may have this small a and capital B. So this variant of the gamete and the last variant small a and small b, this variant of the gamete. And because the genotype of parent 1 and parent 2 which comes from the F1 generation and all F1 generation are of the same genotype. So parent 2 also is going to produce the same gametes. As you see, gametes are going to be the same. Now let's read the second question. If F1 plants are intercrossed, what are the expected seed weights and proportions of the F2 plants? And by the way, this is, was the answer for the first question. So now let's move on and first of all, we see here one genotype that is here, which is made by four dominant alleles. And now you know that each dominant allele at one gram to the trait. So this phenotype only happens once and here genotype equal to phenotype because this is additive trait. This is not simple dominance. So this genotype and phenotype would produce plants with seeds which weights 4 grams because each dominant allele at 1 gram to the seed weight. And the frequency is going to be 1 out of 16. We do not see any other same genotypes and phenotypes here. Only one such genotype out of 16. So the frequency is going to be 1 out of 16. Now let's compare, for example, how many we have with three dominant alleles and one recessive. Let's find out. And this is going to be one, two, three, four. So as you see, we have four plants. So let's put number here, four out of 16. That is going to be three dominant alleles, one dominant allele at one gram, so three gram, and one recessive allele at 0 0.4. So the weight of such a plant is going to be, of the seeds of such a plant is going to be 3.4 grams. Now let's find how many plants are going to be two dominant alleles and two recessive alleles. And here's the first, so one and 
3, 4, 5 and 6. So the frequency of such genotype is going to be 6 out of 16. What is the weight of the seeds is going to be 1 dominant allele adds 1 gram, so 2 grams plus 0 0.4 plus 0 0.4, so 2.8, 2.8 grams. Now let's find how many genotypes we have where 3 alleles are going to be recessive and 1 dominant. And here is the first one, so 1, 2, 3 and 4. So frequency of such genotype is going to be 4 out of 16 and the weight is going to be 1 dominant allele 1 gram and 3 recessive allele each 0 0.4 grams. This is going to be 2.2 2 grams. And the last variant would be the plant where all 4 alleles are going to be recessive and we have only one such plant small a small a and small b, small b. And uh, now let's also put it down here. So 1 16th is going to be variant when all four alleles are recessive. And the weight of the seeds of such a plant is going to be 1.6 grams. Let's read the question again. If F1 plants are intercrossed, so this is F1 plants, what are expected seed weights, this is expected seed weights, and proportions of the F2 plants. And this is proportions. We can express proportions as a fraction, for example, like this, or we just can say that proportion is going to be 1 to 4 to 6 to 4 to 1, and ignore this denominator, which is the same. So this is the answer to the second question. And this is all for today. Subscribe and see you in the next video. Goodbye.